get him. We got a suspicious looking egg. Nice. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Modded Terraria. These things are awesome. The rod of flocking. Because I like how we can pick up items through tiles, you know? They go wherever my mouse cursor is. Wherever I click. Okay, so I'm heading all the way over here. I had another meteorite fall. So we've got this one right here. And then we have a few pieces over here that I might mine out. Probably not. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to repair that area anyway soon. And then we have this meteorite over here. I'm going to mine out both of those. I do have, you know, a full stack of dirt on me. And I'm going to just build up and build my own meteorite up in space. So I have calming potions as well. And hello there. All right, let's do this. I just want to get this done so we never have to worry about meteorites striking. Right now, I could leave them both there. And we probably won't have another one. It's probably enough meteorite blocks. Hey, wait. Yeah. We probably have enough meteorite blocks to keep meteors from falling. But I want to actually mine them up and put them, put all the blocks where I want them, up in space. Anyway. All right. Let's go. Get out of here. Ugh. Stop. Oh my god. Go away. Dude. What the heck? I need zen potions. Seriously. Alright, guys. As you can probably suspect, that was kind of challenging because uh, of even with calming on... You know, we're up in the sky with modded mobs all over the place. Like, it took me probably at least a half hour to make just this thing. Uh, but it it's fine. I'm going to improve it eventually. But it serves its purpose. So we won't have any more meteorite fa meteorites falling or spawning. So there we go. I'm going to leave this uh, dirt bridge here for now. And let's just teleport out of here. Uh, one of the good things that happened, well, we got both of these. I'm not going to use these yet, although I do feel like fighting something now <laughs> before we go and uh, work on small town a little bit. Uh, oh, and this, I did get a traveler's feather and I used it. I forgot to record me just using it quickly. Um... But yeah, I used it, and it switched our quest to the failed fishing. And apparently there's, like, pieces of a fishing rod that we're going to have to find. Uh, I guess just random mobs have it, or have pieces. So, we're going to do that. But I also was told I'm just going to work my way down here-ish, probably. Or maybe I'll go down the uh, elevator again. Now nah, let's go down here. We haven't been here in a while. I was told to just, like, go adventure underground and uh, try to find a a teddy bear or something. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm just going to go and, like, fight down here for a little while and see if we could find it. I think they added mobs to this area, this biome. Yeah, purity crawlers, and there's purity squid. Can you go through tiles? No. And purity whatever, something else. Are you going to drop anything? Yeah, uh, I'm supposed to look for a teddy bear <laughs> and then go and fight the keeper again. The boss that we fought last time or one of the bosses that we fought last time. So that's... Oh, what's that? Terra shard. Nice. Okay. I think this is what we're supposed to be finding for the uh, Lovecraftian. That's cool. So uh, I'll just stay in here for a little bit. Get at least five of these Terra Shards. Nice. Uh, they don't seem to drop anything else. No money even. No coins. But that's fine. I just want like five of these Terra Shards. That's cool. Nice. So we do have enemies here now. That's awesome. And Assassin's Knives. Of course. <laughs> of course we have assassin's knives. By the way, 
Look at this beautiful piece of art right here that my friend Cujo made. Withered Wyvern, thank you so much. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, are you out here? Come here. Speaking of which, get in there. They're not really worth much. And I get way too many of them to bother with. So there we go. Uh, look, I got five terror shards. Sweet. Now I'm going to get out of here. I think. Let me just ride the... Here. Ride the trot. What is hitting me? Oh, I didn't even notice. All right, let's go. Mixtape. Dude, nice. One of my... Uh... Hey, 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 hey. Is there anything? Wait. Yeah, there we go. Give me that. One of my uh, musical releases that I did with a few people was actually, you know, we were all indie and stuff. We're like, this is going to be cool. We released our record. Instead of making a record or anything or a CD or whatever, we released it as a tape. Only tape. So if you didn't have a tape player, then you were out of luck, which I didn't have a tape player for a really long time. So I wasn't even able to listen to it. <laughs> my own music until I was dating a girl who had a Teddy Ruxpin and then we ended up listening to it on her Teddy Ruxpin <laughs> anyway okay so that's uh, the uh, Fury story hour for today what is this Whoa, I have been looking for you. You you slayed her. You've killed the keeper. Skull digger, do you understand what she's been through? Um, I'm sorry. Where are you going? Hundreds of years. This is amazing. I think this is I have to avenge her. Uh, I'm sorry. Wrong weapon. Don't want to show you that. Ow. Oh. Uh. Boom. Ow. Lost souls all over the place. Did we get it? We got it. Look, abandoned Teddy. How did it get here? Let the keeper's spirit rest. Uh, I also got two pieces of the fishing rod while we were here. Uh, okay. Let me get out of here real fast. Uh, put this away. Give me my platinum over there. 19 platinum. Yeah. All right. So that's, ex oh, give me these too. Don't want to miss out on any of those for sure. For sure. All right. Let's go. Nice. That was pretty awesome. I didn't get to read everything that he said. Just want to look through all this. Thorium ore, death cap, boom. Regular Lost Souls, Raining Bunnies. Just another day in the neighborhood. Uh, okay. Skull Digger's Mask. Vanity, yes. Dark Shards. Okay, those I have to look at. I put this back here. So we have 11 Dark Shards now. And all this other loot that I somehow need to go through. <laughs> uh, this? Yes, he did name his weapon after himself. Awesome. Yeah, this is awesome. The Abandoned Teddy. Okay, so now we should be able to... I think we can buy one right up here. Buy a tablet. Uh, yeah, Mysterious Tablet. Eight gold. No problem. All right, so let's do this. Mysterious Tablet. Boom. Hello, Keeper. The Keeper noticed the Abandoned Teddy you're holding. She starts to remember something. Pain, anger, sadness, all those feelings were washed away. She only feels at peace. Uh, oh wow. The Keeper's spirit fades away. Keeper's circlet. What? That was amazing. Skeletons become friendly. What? We are a skeleton friend now? That's pretty amazing. Dude, yes, things like that, definitely let me know about things like this without spoiling it. Thank you so much for not spoiling it, for just, like, giving me hints. Go go here, do that, or, you know, like, great job. I don't know, I'm very happy about that. 
<laughs> that was amazing. I love that. Okay. So, uh, let me just go back home. We're going to work on small town a little bit, but, uh, I want to look at some of this other stuff first. We need to get the, hang on, we take care of all of you. Maybe we get another fishing. Oh, we got it. I think hopefully we got the one piece we needed. Oh, there's another piece right here. Oh, uh, yep. Um, so yeah, we have all three pieces now. Perfect. And I guess I'm going to also pick up that piece. Just, oh, and this piece. What is going on here? Uh, this piece, yes, so we have it. Just for the next time we have to do this quest, perhaps. Why not? Why not? All right, I can't quite reach. All right, so, uh, yeah, by the way, I did make the voodoo arm, and I reforged this impractically oversized the Keeper's Claw. I haven't been using it throughout the episode, um, and now I feel bad using it. I kind of feel bad. It's not really, you know, it's slow. It's very slow. It doesn't do much damage. I mean, it does per hit do a decent amount of damage, but I don't know. There we go. Um, I'm probably not going to use it, but I'll keep it on for now because we're going to be building. But first, uh, we need to make this thing. Let's see. Uh, first things first. This, let me just place it down next to this one, maybe, or over here. It sparks. Does it make any noise? Yes, it's making noise too. So that is something that I'm going to be hopefully finding more of these things. I don't know how many there are around the world, but I'm going to use them in the tech base area. Once I start that along with all this stuff too. Oh man. Oh man. And then like the tech base is something we're going to be working on throughout a long time because Mod of Redemption adds crazy amount of here just we have another one boom a crazy amount of uh what do you call it uh oh wait i do need this up here <laughs> like the abandoned lab it adds like all that and there's tons of really cool things to build with from that uh here we go just make that and then i think you want the lovecraftian wants five of these maybe we shall see. Uh, let me see. Supply ingredients. Yes, here you go. Yes, I'm a woman. What about it? Is it the tentacle beard that threw you off? Okay, wait. Did we do it? We did. Oh, wait. We still have to do it. There we go. Oh, are those purity shards? Perfect. Here, take this. You can purify most biomes with this special flask I made. Wow. Okay. Spreads the forest. That's amazing. So you could purify any, well, most biomes, she said. All right, no problem. And then you take your fishing rod. Boom, thank you for the help. So we got a loot box. I'm gonna open this one. Uh, and then we're gonna spend some, wow. Uh, gold bars, throwing knives, rune stones, demonite bars, that's cool. And then mana potions, whatever. Uh, okay. Then I want to actually buy your... Oh, you have two things. How many do I have? Nine. Uh, Adventurer's Crystal. Pressing the special ability key. Teleport you to a random position. Okay, so it's like a teleportation potion. Adventurer's Sign. Pressing the special ability key will teleport you to the nurse. <laughs> That's helpful. And it's a material to make... Celestial Cross, pressing the special ability key will teleport you to the, your cursor. Increased invincibility time after being struck, lowers the cooldown of healing potions. That's nice. Uh, I guess I'll save my iron coins for that. Do you have another quest for me, by the way? Not yet? Okay, because I just turned that one in. Whatever. All right, so I'm going to put this stuff away and then basically... I want to, well, I gotta dig a hole down here. We gotta make this bigger, and I'm just gonna shape the land, kind of, and get it ready for certain builds that I wanna make in there. And uh, we're gonna build a couple of things, hopefully, possibly. Or just maybe one thing, and we'll see what happens. Um, don't think I need any of this stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's skooma. Just skooma. 
Yeah. Angel Halo, I'm not buying it. It's not a material. For any of the mods I'm using, that's crazy. Would have expected that to be some kind of a material. Anyway, all right. Let me put this stuff away, and then let's dig a hole. Fun times. <laughs> Digging a hole. Digging a hole. I am... Ouch. Oh, man. All right, guys. I can't forget about this. We could finally make the Architect's Gizmo Pack. Boom. Such an essential piece of kit for this character. Very much needed to eventually make the World Shaper Soul. And also, I'm going to need another one to make Home Improvement. But that's not for a long time. Uh, for now, I'm going to just put this over here. I don't even know if I'm really going to use it. I guess we are uh, definitely going to use it. Let me just put it on here. Boom. And let's go down and start building. So, uh, got my little, uh, maggot. <laughs> little magma maggot. Let's go down here. He fits. Look at that. Now we have a hole. We have a fairly large hole down here. And it's going to be extended even more. We got plenty of room. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to... Start building something. Let's do it. All right, guys, I think I'm going to stop for now. I just wanted to build mainly a tiny house and then start decorating a little bit. Uh, this guy just showed up because this is a suitable house right here. Um, in order to make it a suitable house, it's already occupied, I know. You can't have the platforms connecting all the way across. But there we go. Uh, Tenvon. What are lost souls used for? No idea. Do you sell them? You sell them for ancient gold coins. Okay. Uh, I have 43. Nice. And you sell that. You sell ancient stone, ancient wood, ancient dirt, bronze wand, bronze greatsword, old gothic war axe, which we have that. You sell dark shards also. Awesome, man. Really, really cool. Nice. Yeah, I was wondering, like, because these things are pretty rare. That's amazing. Okay, excellent. So I can actually buy them. That's really good news. And then I can buy this stuff, too, the ancient stuff. We're going to be building, like, a huge biome using all that ancient stuff someplace. I may eventually, like, right now, like, this is way not finished at all. There's going to be a lot more in here, including, like, Oh, you do! It does spawn eggs. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oops. <laughs> there are gonna be, like, you know... Here, let me just have this guy over here fishing. I don't know. I probably won't have the uh, platforms all the way across. We'll figure it out. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Might as well just do this real quick. And, uh... There's going to be just a lot more to this place. A lot more everywhere. There's going to be houses up here. 
all over the place, like little tiny houses. They're going to be like themed houses that are, I want to build like an acorn house. That's cool that that does that. An acorn house, there's going to be like different pixel art houses. Um, the slimy house would actually fit down here really well, but whatever. It is what it is. We'll keep it probably up there. I don't know. Maybe I'll move that down into small town eventually. Um, let me just take a peek. Yeah, because there are going to be other houses like this down there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I just wanted to get started with it, basically. And uh, we did get started. There's going to be other little tiny houses. Not all the same style. I want to build like a tree, tiny tree house type of thing. All different kinds of stuff. But yeah, it's going to be like just this nice picturesque, tiny little village down here with a bunch of little gnomes and uh, animals and stuff like that, etc. I'm going to put, I'm going to hide little animal statues, like squirrel statues and stuff, so I can spawn them when I get wiring. I have a lot of things planned for wiring, so I am very tempted to go and, you know, defeat Skeletron and get into the dungeon uh, soon so that I can get the mechanic, because there are many, many builds that I'm planning with uh, wiring. Before that, though, I mean, there are many, many bosses on this list before we get to Skeletron. Where the heck? Where's Skeletron's all the way down here. All right. We got all that. I mean, that's not that much. It's not that much. But, I mean, before even that, let me just go over here real quick. Uh, let me use one of these again. It's very helpful having that right there. And I guess, let me just use this, too. Oh, if I put it away, it... Oh, wait. Stop it. I'm talking to the people. Yeah, as long as I don't do anything, we're safe here. Could I have any enemy? It doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, we're coming to the point now where, like, oh my god, what happened to my hair? <laughs> no, Maximus, no. Um, we're coming to the point where I need a lot more housing. And I don't want to continue to build in here like i want to take all of the npcs out of here and redo this entire thing so i need to start building like an actual like big castle base thing and i my favorite place to do that has always been in the snow biome but i'm gonna try not to do that this time but we really really need to figure out very soon maybe next episode i'm gonna start actually you know, constructing some kind of, like, large, large build, large castle, because I need to. I need housing for all of these NPCs. But, uh, before then, I think it's time to end it, everyone. Uh, wait, let me use this again. All right, stay invisible. I just gotta say thank you very much, okay, to, really amazing name right here, Diabetic Bacon. <laughs> Thank you very much for telling me about the, uh, let me just, abandon Teddy Bear, um, or abandon Teddy, and, uh, and Keeper. I'll just do that right here. Yeah, thank you, and thanks for wording it the way you did, where it wasn't really spoilery. You know, you didn't tell me exactly what happens and stuff like that, because some people do sometimes get a little too spoilery and I'm like, ah oh, man, because I like to, you know, get my reaction out, my reaction to everything on camera. So, you know, if it's something like with Terraria, there are very few things that, you know, can, can surprise me. And it's all like modded stuff because I've been playing this game for so long. By the way, I just reached 1300 hours on Maximus during this session. Crazy. 1300 hours on one character. But uh, there's gonna be many, many more hours on this character. Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So, I know so much about this game. I've been playing it for so long that I forget things all the time because there's just so much to know about this game, you know? But uh, there's very few things that can actually surprise me. 
that I don't already know or, you know, that I kind of know and then I get reminded of because I forgot about it or something like that. I'm just going to leave all the pumpkins. We got... Never mind, I'm not. We got a million pumpkins everywhere. It is that season. But anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Peace out.